Building Spelling Skills, Grade 4, Week 24. Word meaning. Write the spelling words to answer the clues. Number one, a person who takes care of our physical health. That is a physician. Physician. You guys, we usually just call them doctors, but yes, a physician. Number two, a, per a person who performs magic. That would be a magician. A person who creates music. That should be a musician. To learn something, you must give it this. To learn something, you must give it... I'm going to say attention. If you don't look at something, you're not going to learn it. Attention. Teachers want their students to get this. I'm going to say education. Environment, environmentalists, meaning people who care about the environment and nature, worry about this. This is pollution. An operation with numbers. I'm going to say division. Stories that are made up by the author. Fiction. An exciting story has lots of this. Let's go with action. Something you should use when you read aloud. Expression. Which spelling word is an antonym for, remember antonyms are opposite. So we have clean, so we want something that means dirty. Clean, I'm gonna go with pollute because this is a verb, whereas the pollution would be a noun. So multiply, that would be division. Fact, fiction. In action, action. All right, my spelling dictation, write the sentences, circle the spelling words. All right, let me find my page. Number one, I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. Last time, I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. Number two, does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music. Does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music? Does the musician's expression express 
her feeling about the music. Does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music? Does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music? Does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music? Does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music? Does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music? Does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music? Does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music? Last time. Does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music? All right, we had long sentences this week. So number one, I'm on a mission to educate students about the problems of pollution. I'm is capitalized, we need a period. Our spelling words are mission, educate, and pollution. I think you guys should probably be okay with problems, just in case you don't. It's P-R-O-B-L-E-M-S, but you should be okay. Number two, does the musician's expression express her feeling about the music? Does is capitalized. We need a question mark, and we need an apostrophe on the musician because it's one musician, not more than one musician. It's just this musician's facial expressions. So our spelling words are musicians, expression, express, and music. We should be okay with does and feeling and about.